hello everyone welcome to this tutorial so in this tutorial we will look at how to use swiper.js with react to create something like uh, what i have here right yeah so swiper.js is actually a touch slider so it's a modern mobile touch slider it's like you can create something like a slide just like this right all right so we are going to use um, Swiper.js to actually try and create something like this. So we will explore the basic usage and also uh, look at some of the options that it, it gives us to actually uh, get started using it. Swiper.js has a very simple and straightforward documentation. When you go to the get started, you would actually see how you can actually install it so if you are installing it via npm you can do npm install swiper and then if you are using a uh, cdns too like you can use this link right yeah so um i'll go to the demo section and then uh, we can see some of the demo stats they have and so this is the uh, the default setup with slide one slide two and then the slide three right and then you can also have navigations like this where you can use controls to actually move through slides and then <coughs> there is also the pagination one where you have like uh, like a kind of uh, pagination controls down he here and so they have some demos here which uh, you can go through right this one is custom pagination right yeah cool i will click on the react and then uh, to install you just have to do npm install swiper and then this is the basic usage all right so i've created a new project with create react app which i'll be using so um i'll just go ahead and delete the files that i don't need for When I open my terminal, I should be able to run npm start to to actually run the application. Right? Yeah. So whilst it starts, I'll open the package.json and then um you would see that I have installed the swiper here. That is a swiper.js. Right. So uh, if you've not installed swiper.js, you can go ahead and then do npm install swiper like this and then it will install the swiper js dependency in your react application once you have it installed my application is running so the first thing that you would do is to import the swiper i'll go back to the documentation and then just copy the import and then add it here and then also since I don't want to copy everything, I'll just copy the SCSS and then import it down here. Um, and then I'll copy this and then come and use it here. All right. Basically, uh, we are importing Swiper and then the Swiper slide from swiper react so and then this is the import of the style so you need it to be able to like get all the styles working swiper components right so that's what we imported here and then to create slides you would use the swiper slide which we also imported here right yeah so um with this simple setup um, when i run i should be able to see some swiper slides in the browser okay yeah so one thing that have to do because i am importing uh this scss i have to make sure that i am installing the node sas right i do npm install node sas to be able to like import scss and sas files right yeah that's that's what it is telling us to do npm install node sas or yeah let's look at uh, some of the props that we have here so we have this space between which actually tells swiper the space you want between slides 
and then the slides per view actually shows you like three slides per view so you can change the number to four five or whichever number you want and then the on slide change actually triggers when you are changing the slide like when i change between slides mm, when i change the slides it will invoke the on slide change if i show you the console here you see that whenever i change the slides it will invoke the on slide change right yeah there we go here so these are some of the props that you can actually use there are some more um you see that we have uh we have some here um on rich end so when you get to the end of the slide you should actually do something uh let me actually stop this one if you npm start again so hopefully i should see some results in my browser yeah okay so there we go all right so we have some slides here we have four slides here but then because we specified uh three slides per view you'd see that i uh, have slide one slide two slide three here so when i slide to this side you'd see the fourth slide here right yeah so that's that's actually the basic usage so let's actually try to uh customize this a bit to look just like uh, how we want it I would reduce the space between 2 to 20. The slides per view, I would leave it to be 3. From the documentation, you'd see that uh, if you want to enable the navigation, you just bring this navigation prop, right? So um, you can just enable navigation by just putting this there. You can also uh, enable the pagination by, by using this prop, so pagination, and then when you want to allow clickable to be true like you just put it in an object like this and then to enable the scroll bar to uh, you would use uh, something like this let's actually try and then see so uh, i'll copy the navigation i would put it here give it a save you'd notice that uh, there's actually nothing in the browser right the navigation is not showing yet that's because you'd have to also import um, we'd have to also import the CSS style for the navigation, right? So, right here. So when I add it and I give it a save, uh, when I go back, I should see the navigation here, right? Yeah. I would also import the CSS for the pagination and then the scroll bar since I want to also use that. So very very simple stuff. The documentation is actually straightforward shows you exactly what you have to do yes and then so we have this core bar here all right so uh to actually see things well let's actually put some actual content here and then let's do a little bit of uh, styling i will actually put some data here so it's an array which contains like a uh, information about probably user so just an id username and then uh, testimonial right that's what i am going to use here so instead of this i just do data dot map and then i'll look through and then i'll get each user and then i'm going to uh, return the swiper slide right with a swipe pass line like this and react requires me to actually uh, use a key i'm gonna say that the key is going to be user dot id i'll close the kelly brace and inside here i'm just gonna put a div here and then i would i'll just put the testimonial here for now so user testimonial here when I save it I should be able to see like all the information that I have here right? in order for me not to waste time writing all the CSS I'd actually um, copy and paste the CSS that I have written already uh, paste it here give it a save and then I can can use the class names here so that I get the stylings that I want. Right? 
you can go ahead and um, write your own CSS or uh, I'll make the source code available put the link in the description so that uh, if you want to also use uh, the CSS that I used uh, you can use the same CSS huh? so for now we are not actually seeing it well so let's actually start using the class names from the CSS file and then see some results so this will be the slide class name will be like the slide and then this slide content so inside the slide content yeah I'm gonna have a div where you see that we have the image we have the name and then we have the testimonial testimonial down here right yep this div will actually contain the image so the class name uh, user image since that's the class name we have in the CSS and then inside the public I'll just paste the image I used here right, so it's this uh, user image and then here I can use the image tag user dot png and then I'll give it a class name of user photo and I have to close it alright so um, when I save it and go here yeah I should I should see that that's actually happening so the reason why the pagination and then the scroll bar as well as the navigation is not working is that um, when you go to the documentation you'd see that uh, before you would be able to use it you have to import that too right so I have to import the navigation the pagination and then the scroll bar from swiper so I'll just copy this import and then uh, use it paste it here and then the components that I want to use I have to make sure that uh, I am specifying that too right so using the swiper call that I just imported specify that with swiper call dot use and then specify the components that I actually want to use so when I do this um, it should work as, as expected there we have it right cool and then we have the scroll bar moving here okay so that's cool I have the user photo working so uh, let me also create an h5 element for for the name h5 not h2 and then this will contain uh, user dot username and then the last bit is such the testimonial which will be in a paragraph tag user dot testimonial so user dot testimonial so I'll just make it uh, italic so I'll just wrap it around the eye and put quotes around it so something like this and uh, this should be fine right? so class name for this is called uh, user testimonial and when I save it um, hopefully I should see just what I want there we go right yeah it's actually very simple and straightforward right so you just pass in the props that you need you just make sure that whichever prop that you are using you import it using the swiper call dot use and then you specify them here right and then the import also comes from a uh, swiper that's pretty much it um i think that i want to center it and then give it uh, this particular background and then this particular heading uh, i will just put it so i'll just put a div around it and then give the div a class name right. and then give it a class name of up like that 
and then inside the div on top of the swiper I would have the each one where I'll call it a swiper GS what react just like this and uh, I should see the same thing here so actually the background is um, it's an SVG background that I used so when I go to app.css you see that uh, I'm using a background image here which is uh, which is an SVG right yeah so you can use whichever background that you want yeah, you can use a uh, an image background or like you can go ahead and get uh, an SVG background and then use it so um swipe js is very very simple and straightforward to use so if you are looking for something like this in a project that you are doing yeah um, swipe js is uh, is a good option the last thing that i want to do before i go is to show you uh, some kind of other effects that you can you can also have so um when i go down here like you see some of the effects that you can do so we have a uh, fade cube over overflow and then we have this flip so to use it uh, you just import it from a uh, swiper so if i want to use the fade effects i'll just copy the effect fade and then make sure i am importing it here so i'll just import it bring a comma and then import it here and then i would also make sure i am using it here right yes and then when you want to use it you can specify effects here and set it to feed just like this so in this case the effect is going to change to feed when you are flipping between slides right so when i click on it you see it's fading now. and so this is the second one when i go this is the third one just like that right yeah so um you we have something like uh, overflow we, we have this cube too so let me try and see how it's going to look like uh, so you would use the cube here and then then you would import the effect cube and that's what i'm also gonna get here sorry small u right and then when I see even go back, um, yeah, so this is how the cube one looks like. Yeah, cool. So you can check out the documentation and explore more. Like it's very simple and straightforward, and you could see that there is not mm, actually much into it. Just take this one off, take it off, and then take this off, and save it. We get back to how. It was so as usual uh, thank you for watching this tutorial uh, I will see you in the next video